I believe that every human mind feels pleasure in doing good to another. Invention is a flower, which, as soon as it blooms, fades. The art of the inventor is to delay the fading as long as possible. There is nothing new under the sun, but there are new suns. Science and art are not opposed, but they are united in aiming at the main goal of the era, the complete harmony of thought and life. I am colored but I offer nothing in the way of extenuating circumstances except the fact that I am a human being and therefore subject to all the indignities that all human beings are subject to. I am not ashamed of my color, I am proud of it. We create our future by well improving present opportunities however few and small they are. The object of the inventions and discoveries of the mechanical philosophers seems to have been to give us powers and movements useful for life, but not the movements and powers of life. Life is short and progress is slow. The seed of invention is in the creative process. Man is a part of nature, and his war against nature is inevitably a war against himself. I am not discouraged, because every wrong attempt discarded is another step forward. I would advise every young man or woman to select the best people around him and make himself one of them. What a good feeling it is to work and be independent. There is always room for improvement. It is the life of the crystal, the architect of the flake, the fire of the frost, the soul of the sunbeam. This crisp winter air is full of it. As an inventor, I have always wanted to serve, not only myself but society, and thus, have sought to find means of financially mass-producing ideas that will benefit mankind. The world will one day wear out like a garment, but its fabric is woven by laws that endure. As a race, we are not even in the running, and as far as science is concerned, we are almost illiterates. In a world that is constantly changing, the only true failure is not to try.